Hi everyone, so today I want to show you this card, which is a 5x7 tucked corner fold card landscape edition. So for this I am using papers from Antonio Makes, um, and this is from his VIP kit for April, because for April he's treating all his VIP members to three kits, three digital kits, which is fantastic, to celebrate his birthday and also the anniversary of his um, of Antonio Makes. So... Um, don't forget to head over there. You use Louise 10 to get 10% off your order. I'll put a list up on the screen now of all the perks of the VIP uh, because it is really good. This pack that I'm using here is the it's a mix of blooms and peach and nostalgic indigo that I've used. So the, the butterflies and the flowers are from the nostalgic indigo um, pack. And then the papers are from the Blooms and Peach pack. Now, the Blooms and Peach pack will print out slightly more peachy. This is a bit more yellowy because my printer was running out of magenta ink. Um, then when you open it up, that's what you've got. And then instead of writing on the back, I've done a separate like inserty bit here. So you can actually write on the inside there. So it gives you a lot of space to write. It folds down flat to fit in an envelope for a 5x7 card. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for this card, you're going to need um, three base pieces. Two of them are the same size. So you need one piece that's three, one piece that's three by five, and you need two pieces that are five by five and a half. Okay, so the only bit you want to score are the two pieces that are five by five and a half. So you want to take your five by five and a half, and along the five and a half inch edge, just make a little mark where five is. Okay, so you've got a half an inch gap and you're gonna score diagonally from that five inch mark down to the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, um, let's turn it this way around actually. So that's going in there like that. You'll see in a minute exactly where I'm scoring. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. So I'll turn that round. So this is my little half inch mark. This piece is going to go on the right hand side and I've scored from that five inch mark down to the bottom right hand corner. So you want to do the same on this one, but you want to do it the other way around. So for this, I'm just going to put this in here and I'm going to make a mark at half an inch instead of at five. And then I'm going to score from that half inch mark to the bottom left hand corner. So you should end up with that. So you've got like a half an inch to there and you've got a half an inch in from there. And then you're scoring from that mark to the bottom corners respectively. So now what you want to do, we're going to go with this one first. So with this one, so your half inch like section is on the right hand side. You want to go from this bottom left hand corner up three inches and score across until you meet that line. So I'm going to go from here. This is the bottom corner. One, two, three inches, and I'm going to score from there across until I meet that. Then I'm turning it clockwise, and I'm going to score from that same corner, but obviously it's now the top right, and I'm going to come in one, two, three, and again score from there until I reach that diagonal line. So you end up, for turning it the right around, with that. So you've got like a little three by three square in the corner, and you've got a score line going all the way through the middle of the square, carrying up until you reach that five inch mark there okay so then if we go for this one so it goes from the top left down to the bottom right so what we want to do is if we turn it anti-clockwise so this diagonal line is going up into the top right hand corner we're going to go along one two three inches and score from there till we meet that diagonal line then we're going to turn it anti-clockwise again and we're going to score from that top left from the top of the diagonal line we're going to go across three inches so one two three inches and we're going to score down until we meet the diagonal line so when we turn it back round you have two three inch squares both in either corner and the diagonal line that you've scored goes up and through both sections so what we want to do now is this diagonal line i'm going to fold it all as a mountain but then part of it i'm going to fold back as a valley but if we do the mountain bit first so there's the mountain and the same on this one So we end up with that 
and then what we want to do is this top half here is going to be a valley so just kind of fold it back on itself just so it kind of knows which way roughly to go and then these are going to be valleys as well so we're just going to fold this over here like that make sure we get in there give it a good burnish and then we can fold this down on top and you can probably now see where we're going with this okay so you have like a little half inch tab here so that is the connecting piece so there's that side there and then on this bit here we're going to do the same so we're just going to fold this down like that then we're going to fold this bit on top like this now make sure that your see how it goes up mine's skewing off a little bit because obviously my diagonal fold is not quite right so i'm just going to get it into position and show it where to go there we go that's better it's still a little bit off but it's not too bad it's better than it was so that's fine so there's your two pieces so now you want to add tape i would use half inch tape or slightly just under half inch tape and i would use red tape so i'm going to add some red tape along this edge and also along this edge here as well So now what we're going to do, and I'm actually going to bring my scoreboard back in for this because I just want to make sure that it's all completely straight. So what I'm doing now is I've got this right hand piece. I'm going to take my backing off partially. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. I'm going to line this up along the bottom there. So it's lined up here. I'm going to take this and put this over the top until it's at the half inch. Um, you know, it's halfway over. And then we're just going to stick that down. But if you do it this way, if you've got like a line to butt it up against, you know that's definitely going to be straight because you don't want this to be all kind of a bit wonky. And then we're going to take the other side and do the same again. OK, so you should end up with that. Now, that's quite I've got a bit of a gap there because I don't just make a bit of a mistake. So I've actually got three le bits of cards. So mine's actually standing up more than yours will be. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do is you will see the join anyway so when we come to do our mat piece if you make your um mat piece so that it opens up it will just help so next up you need a mat piece which is nine and a half by six and three quarters and what we're going to do is just going to fold it in half score it in half at four and three quarters to make it into a like a card blank so along the long edge just going to fold a score at four and three quarters like that fold it in half and it just makes it into like a four and three quarter by six and three quarter card blank. So then we're going to put the put this on here like that. Make sure you've got an even border along the bottom three edges. So along there, there and there. And then what we want to do is taking a ruler, we're then going to draw a line along here. Now, I think this is going to be one and seven eighths, but I'm just going to draw it first. Then I'm going to measure it and I can let you know what that measurement is. Uh, one seven eight is that. Yeah. So you want to measure, if you're going to do it by measurements, you want to measure along the top of that fold edge, one and seven eighths. And then measure down the side, one and seven eighths. And you can do the same on this side. So you want one and seven eighths along here. And then one and seven eighths down this side. And then that should give you the right angle for your mat card. So this is obviously folded. That's the folded edge. So I'm now going to cut with it folded. I'm now going to cut along um, this line here. So that gives you a card blank that opens up along the top. And if you lay that on here, it should fit really nicely. Hopefully. Yep, it does. So then that means that you then have space to write on the inside there. Obviously, if you've got a darker, a different colored mat that's not white, then you'll just need to cut a white piece of card the same as the pattern piece that we're about to do. So your pattern piece and your white piece, if you need one on the inside, is going to be four and a half by six and a half. And so what we're going to do is, again, we're just going to measure on the top two corners, one and seven eighths um, along the top. So one and seven eighths here. And then we want to measure one and seven eighths here. 
and then down the side as well one and seven eighths and one and seven eighths if you want to do it by eye rather than measuring it just to make sure it's definitely okay then you can um, or if you want to just measure it you can either is fine okay so that's that now before I put it on I'm just going to quickly check if I cut it I'm just going to quickly check that looks about right it does look about right so you want to do the same thing with your white piece that's going to go inside oh, obviously I'm going to leave mine like that I'm not going to put an extra white piece in but if you do then that's what you need to do so then this is going to stick on the front there So just inside, I've just gone ahead and stamped a greeting. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead now and stick this onto this base here. Okay, so you should end up with that. So that's your, your front piece and your inside piece. Then we want to concentrate on these pieces here. So for this piece is here, you need two pieces that are one and three quarter by four and three quarter. This is of mat. And on top of that, you want two pattern pieces that are one and a half by four and a half. So on these, you're going to measure them. Um, in fact, to be honest, I would probably eyeball them, but I think it's one and seven eighths down the left and there's about a quarter of an inch down the right. But I'm actually just going to eyeball and draw because I think that's going to work out a lot less hassle and I know it's going to be correct then if I just eyeball it so I'm going to put that on like that and then I'm just going to cut that I'm going to check if it's okay for the other side which it is so if it's right for the other side I'm just going to place one on top of the other and I'm just going to cut along that line so there we have two pieces that now fit on there like that and then down the side here your pattern pieces that are one and a half by four and a half again i'm just going to put them on and i'm just going to eyeball um where they you know where they need to be cut Okay, so then we just need to do this little square piece here. So you need two squares that are two and a half by two and a half. You're going to cut those in half diagonally. And you need two pattern pieces that are two by two. And again, these are going to get cut in half diagonally. What I would do is if you're not going to use wet glue, just go ahead and um, put tape on the back first. Um, and then it just makes it easier. And just make sure that you're getting the right corner to corner. So if you've got a directional paper, just make sure that you know you're going the right way because on one side you're going to have to go one way and on the other side you're going to have to go the other way so you just want to make sure you're definitely getting them the diagonal the right way Okay, so once you've done your squares, that's what it looks like. So then when you fold it up, obviously that's what you've got. And then all you need to do is add your, if you want something in the middle here, or if you want um, if you want to put um, a greeting on or whatever. I'm going to go ahead now and add on a greeting and also an embellishment on the front. Okay, so there we have it, the finished cards. I've just stuck a couple of butterflies on the front there and the rose and the other butterfly. Um, they've got, I've stuck them with silicone glue, so they're still a bit wet, so I've got to be careful. And obviously when you open it up, you've then got that flap there and you've got lots of space to write. If you wanted to, you could put your um, piece on the back, so you can write on the back, but I decided to do it on the inside there. So yeah, so that's the uh, card for today. So don't forget to head over to Antonio Makes. And use my code LOUISE10 to get 10% off all your um, purchases over there. And also on the VIP kit as well. Um, and uh, I'll see you again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. 
so you never miss um well you know what i mean all the usual i'm getting in the muddle but anyway enjoy enjoy the video and i'll see you again next time bye